Hi everybody, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you know you're going to get my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more often and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. This time I'm playing the uh, Infinity Slayer on the map Complex. Um, the reason I chose this gameplay is because I, I use Promethean Vision predominantly throughout the game. And this is a brand new armor ability, so I should have given you guys some tips and tricks right off the bat. Uh, but for whatever reason, I neglected to do so. I was busy giving you other tips and tricks, but better late than never. So here's some Promethean Vision tips and tricks on Complex. Let's jump right in. Uh, as always, you know I'm going to rush right for those power weapons first thing. So I run back here and grab the sniper rifle, and I anticipate that my opponents will be going for the energy sword. And so I use my Promethean Vision to scout it out. Sure enough, there's a couple opponents right there. I'm able to quickly and easily line up a sniper kill for the first strike medal. You can see the Promethean Vision is already helping me out. Now, if you're not familiar with Promethean Vision, uh, maybe you're brand new to the franchise, you just picked the game up, uh, most of you probably already know about it, but it's basically like a sonar that you send out and it allows you to see through walls, see across the map, and it identifies uh, where your opponents are and it shows you their movements. So you can see I anticipate this guy coming through. I'm able to tag him with one body shot with the sniper. Unfortunately, he never really comes back into view, and he kind of, kind of keeps me back with some grenades. Um, but you can see that the, the Promethean Vision helps you to anticipate the movement of your opponents, and that's really a huge, huge benefit, okay? Watch this shot right here. This is a great uh, textbook example. This guy's coming around the corner. I line up the shot before he even knows what hit him. I've got a headshot with a sniper rifle as soon as he comes into view. And that's the kind of thing you can do with Promethean Vision. And the great thing about this is it extends all the way across the map. Uh, if you have it fully charged, you can basically see everyone on the entire map. And that's a huge plus. Look, you can see here I continue to identify people uh, down on the ground even. Uh, and I'm able to get... Uh, this guy, look, look, he's coming across the walkway, get a nice body shot, and I always make a habit of switching to a DMR or any other precision weapon that I have handy. When you get that first body shot with the sniper, make sure you clean him up with something else so you can conserve your sniper ammunition. Now here, look again, Promethean Vision at work, I'm able to locate this guy, he's several hundred yards away, but I line up the shot quickly and easily, much uh, better than I could with any other armor ability under any other scenario. Now here I fail at a little bit of peak shooting there, but what I am doing is I'm controlling the little top building, and uh, this is really a, uh, one of the two advantageous locations on the map, because it's very difficult for your opponents to rush you. Here you see they keep coming at me with jetpacks, they're going to do this throughout the entire game, it doesn't work. It's a very good stronghold, it's very difficult for your opponents to rush you up here. Obviously, I have excellent sight lines. I'm able to continue to work on my opponents across the map. Get a nice body shot with there with the sniper for the assist. I think I get a wingman here eventually. And I can really just uh, dominate the game from this position because you have just such excellent visibility, especially with Promethean Vision. You can fire shots down on anybody. You can fall back for cover if you need it. I keep picking up uh, assists and uh, really a very strong position. So you want to concentrate on holding the roof of these buildings. Now one thing I want to point out is that there's this player down in the hallway and he's kind of waiting for me. He knows I'm using Promethean Vision because it sends out a sonar on his radar. So he knows I'm using Promethean Vision. So he sends out a hologram and I totally buy it because I thought that uh, holograms would not show up on Promethean Vision. Nevertheless, I clean him up with a body shot, a sniper, headshot, DMR. Uh, but that's something to keep in mind when you're using Promethean Vision. It will still display holograms through the Promethean Vision. So you can still be fooled by those holograms. That's something to keep in mind whether you're using holograms or Promethean Vision. You know, uh, So something to, something to remember about those armor abilities. Now here, uh, there's a quick little lag in the gameplay. Nothing really happened. The game just basically reset. And so here I am back to back to the gameplay and they, they keep rushing me with the jetpacks. I don't know why uh, it's just not effective. You can see that I'm able to hold my position very easily here. Um, and so you, you really do need to make a point of holding down these areas. The one thing I was going to say is I get another assist here is that with the scatter shot, that Promethean uh, shotgun, that's a fantastic weapon. I love the new Promethean weapons. They're not only uh, effective and beautiful, but they're also a lot of fun to use. And so I love grabbing them anytime I have a chance. 
The one thing with this scatter shot, and it's happened to me a couple times, is it's very easy to commit suicide with that weapon if you're not careful. It's the same with the incineration cannon. They both have this kind of ridiculous splash damage. And if you shoot them uh, at a wall or in an enclosed area, it's very difficult to commit, or very easy rather, to commit suicide with those weapons. So you got to be careful with those. That's just something to keep in mind when you're using those Promethean weapons. But if you have a chance, grab these things because they're so much fun. Very, very effective and a lot of fun to use. I just love that new effect that they that they put in where your opponents just kind of like melt away. Like they just, just disintegrate uh, any time that you kill them with the Promethean weapons. Uh, so I, I think that's kind of a cool new feature. I like that a lot. Um, the other thing I'll, I will point out with Promethean Vision is it's really going to give you the maximum benefit in enclosed areas. Okay, so you want to kind of look for opportunities to uh, basically look for combat opportunities in enclosed areas because that's where you're going to have the most benefit. Your opponents, obviously, without Promethean Vision, are not going to be able to see through walls. They're not going to be able to see your movements. They're going to have no idea what you're doing. But while you you are using Promethean Vision, you really have a lot of advantages in enclosed areas where there's a lot of walls, sharp corners, things like that. Now here I've kind of switched over. I respawned on the other side of the map, so now I'm controlling Big Top. And you can see that the other team is not trying to t uh, control either of these buildings at all, and it's a huge disadvantage look we've more than doubled their score and one of the biggest reasons for the the discrepancy in the score is because uh, i've been controlling the tops of the buildings the entire game they've tried to push me off using the jetpack but it's just not been effective for them let me give you a strategy if your opponents are controlling one of the two buildings on this map um, what you want to do rather than rushing them directly it's actually a little bit smarter. Go over to the other side of the map, hop up on the opposing building, and shoot them down from there. A lot of times they're not going to realize what you're doing because you're over on the other side of the map. They're not going to notice. By the time you get up on top of the building and start putting some shots in them, you can usually take down one, two, even three players before they even know what hit them. So, a lot of times teams are not smart enough to control both buildings at the same time. So, if they're only controlling one building, run over to the other building and shoot them down from the top. Now I'm using the uh, ammo uh, tactical package and so I get extra ammunition anytime I grab a power weapon. So you can see, I love, I absolutely love that tactical package. It is so helpful because look, now uh, I've got a couple extra shells in my rockets and I'm really putting these to good use. I'm gonna be very effective, very efficient with this ammunition, get a kill with almost every single shot. Starting with this one, I know I don't even need Promethean Vision for this one. I knew the guy was hiding right around the corner. I'm able to clean him up. The the thing that I've noticed with Promethean Vision when you have it fully uh, charged is that you can really see a long ways with this ability. You can see with a fully charged Promethean Vision, you can see all the way across almost any map. For that reason, I usually go with the AA efficiency uh, a support upgrade when I'm using this ability. So that allows your armor abilities to recharge much more quickly. Get a nice double shot with the rockets there, double kill. Um, the, the AA efficiency is very effective with Promethean Vision. I also use it a lot with Active Camouflage. If you haven't tried out this uh, upgrade yet, you really ought to give it a, a try because it works very well with these uh, armor abilities that you're just kind of using on a, a regular basis like Promethean Vision or, or Active Camouflage. So we're about wrapped up here with the video today. I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks for using Promethean Vision, controlling the, uh, the map here on Complex. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and add this video to your favorites. Um, Halo 4 Tutor, signing out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.